hello pisces welcome back to my channel divine and gifted i am shay what's up what's up what's up i'm here to do your mid monthly reading for december okay this is going to be for sun moon rising venus take it how it resonates whatever placement you need it for if it doesn't resonate or if it does take out your other zodiac placements okay um but if you're new here, welcome, okay, to my beautiful channel, Divine and Gifted. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when I upload. Other than that, let's hop right in. Spirit, what messages do you have for our Pisces? Working in their highest good for their highest favor for the current, current energy. Current blockages, please, for our Pisces, second half of December. take it we have abundance here at the bottom of the deck so you're not really feeling um you're not really feeling like or you're having a hard time with seeing the progress okay is what i'm getting here hold on let me get this and then purpose was here that's what fell out on the floor so you guys you guys are having a hard time with seeing the progress here with this abundance card it says i'm a lim i'm a limitless being i can manifest whatever i desire in the physical reality and that's what i'm it's like you guys are having a hard time with with seeing this and then coming to see humor self-esteem pride and relationships look the relationship that you have with yourself your thoughts thinking or what so have you it, it it's taking a toll on you right now to to see all these come out and then i did split the deck when i first split the deck i think i seen friendships or something like that so within your relationships with the people that you're surrounding yourself with you have to monitor because they could be giving you some of their energy they could be leaving their energy with you and if they're not in the energy of feeling happy go lucky or feeling like if they if they don't have their self together and well grounded they're going to leave you feeling like that too cuz it's like when they come around you they kind of drain you of your energy and this does not mean that this is something that they're dealing with intentionally or maybe for some of you guys you guys are you guys are around people who are actually actively draining your energy you need to be mindful because you're in the midst of a storm so when you're trying to get yourself together and when you're trying to build yourself up, when you're trying to fill your cup up, you have to be very mindful because sometimes you give your power away, you give your energy away subconsciously, like it just happens, okay? So this relationship card, it says, I'm attracted to those people who serve my highest good. And that's what I'm saying. When it comes to your relationships and the people that you have around you, you may need to go back and analyze some of the relationships and see if they are still in alignment with you and then this humor card here is you're having a hard time with seeing the brighter side of the situation but because the humor card is here it's like spirit is trying to tell you to shift and change your perspective here and the self-esteem is the relationship that you have with yourself may need a little work like you may need to build your confidence up a little bit you may need to spend some time alone or you may need to um do some soul feeding or um you know spend some time like really Really loving and nurturing on you shay what are ways that i can nurture and love on myself let's see you can take you a bath you can and, and, and this is not anything you can go buy yourself everything in the world and still not be nurturing you okay so let's be clear um you can take you a bath you can work out you can do some yoga meditation listening to some music spending time alone journaling um journaling spending time spending time around people who make you feel good like who knows how to make you laugh or it, i that's what i feel like some of you guys need to do like you guys need to spend time around a different group of people who are who who is just on a, a different vibe okay they're 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 vibing a little higher okay but this humor and self-esteem card is also not seeing the beautifulness or not seeing how awesome and amazing not seeing how dope of a being or how divine of a being you are okay and i just feel like with this pride sometimes you get in the you get caught up in your thoughts and be overthinking and you overanalyze and you stress and you worry and you you you, you have all these moments of anxiety you, you go through all these different trials and tribulations when your pride is in the way. And spirit is basically telling you to shift and change your perspective. Some of, some of you guys need to mental repetition. Some of you guys are needing to say affirmations or um, uh, 
I, I, I love to use high frequency words. My favorite word is phantasmazing. Okay, I put fantastic and amazing together. Yes, I did. I use wonderful, gorgeous, superb. I just, all these different words that I use that, that should bring, I feel should bring me um, good energy. And when you can't say, I'm feeling fantastic and then still be walking around in a terrible ass mood. It's just impossible. So what I'm saying to you guys is you guys need to really, really analyze the relationship that you have with yourself. What thoughts are you, what, what thoughts are you, what are your reoccurring thoughts? Okay. How do you feel about yourself? Okay. And, and, and when it comes to your dreams, when it comes to your purpose, when it comes to your plan, why do you feel like you haven't succeeded? Okay. Because because you got to know because things didn't work out as planned when things don't go out as planned that means that that is a time that means that it's time for you to go back and revise it's time for you to go back and reanalyze it's time for you to go back and go back to the drawing board and, and try it a different way it does not mean that it's not meant for you it just means like right now you weren't ready or this wasn't the path or something like that okay but where should their focus be for our Pisces okay listen Listen, Pisces, where should our focus be for our Pisces? It says, from whom can I release judgment from right now? Okay. It says judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to fear and holds us in shame. On whom are we placing judgment right now? Is it someone in our life? In your, is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations, and be grateful for what it is. Release the shackles, drop the expectations, and be grateful for what it is. Today, so action says, look at the person you are judging as if you're looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down, and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add more grace to open your heart to this truth. Okay? It says, when I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved, I am whole, I am limitless, and so are they, okay? So this is basically saying, right now, you're being very harsh and, 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 and critical to yourself. And not only are you being harsh and critical to yourself, but you're in this energy of pointing a finger, blaming others, and you're judging others, or you're looking down upon others. But it's not to say that you guys, because some of you guys are going to be like, I ain't looking down on nobody. But this is just like you're looking at another person's situation and you're judging them for their situation instead of staying focused on your situation. OK, but um, it says judgment closes our heart to the truth and separates us from love. So instead of you accepting the situation for what it is. You look at the situation and you micro you micromanage it. You you pick at every little thing and you try and, and and every little thing that you pick at, you 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 think negative about it. And that's why the humor card is here. And when you think negative about a situation, it attacks your self-esteem, it it attacks your confidence, and it put a pause on the manifestations that you're trying to manifest. So spirit is asking you to shift and change your perspective so you can feel more confident in your present moments. Okay? Shift and change your perspective when you're handling and when you're dealing with other people especially when it comes to relationships okay um when i let the judgment from myself and others i uncover my own truth okay and the judgment is not going in and say you could have did this you should have did that i would have if i would have blah, blah blah it's this is the situation this is how it affected me this is where i need to shift and change my perspective this is why I feel stuck and blocked. Okay. And then you go in and say, now all this is happening. How can I heal? How can I forgive? Have I forgiven myself? Am I placing blame on myself? Introspection is your best friend. Okay. Um, I am whole. I'm a limitless, I'm a limitless man. And so are they. And this is like the beauty that you see in others is also the beauty that you see in you. Okay the bottom of the deck abundance and then under that we have change and this is like once you be able to shift and change your perspective because you're having a hard time with adapting changing or just going in a different direction this is um and then trust listening to your intuition some of you guys some of you guys you guys have you guys have 
broken so many commitments and so many times where you're supposed to honor yourself you broke so many you broke so many commitments to yourself to where now it's very hard for you to listen to your intuition you question it not only do you question that but you question yourself in the decisions that you're making and this is why you don't really feel as abundant or you don't feel like things are actually going in your favor okay so yes let's hop in and let's see what's going on with you guys for what is coming towards our pisces current energy please for the next two weeks spirit for what what is coming towards our pisces what's the energy so we have the hangman here and this is you finally surrendering okay this is you surrendering this is you changing your perspective this is you realizing that you deserve better you want better you're going after better this is you understanding that it's time for you to take a leap of faith for some of you guys. For some of you guys, I feel like you guys were so afraid of going into the unknown. You guys were allowing your ego to keep you, to hold you back. And your ego could have been past mistakes, past decisions. It could have been past people, past relationships, or what so have you. But whatever it was, however your ego was showing up in your current physical situation, because everybody is different and on their on their own path so however your ego was showing up in your situation it was stopping and blocking you and the spirit was really wanting you to shift and change your perspective okay and that's why the hangman is here spirit put you on a universal hang up spirit was like okay well and so you can see that you deserve better i'm going to hang this situation up and now you and this person aren't going to speak and so you can see that money is coming to you even though you may be tight right now, but this was, I'm putting you here so you can understand that when you actually get the money, you can learn how to appreciate it and handle business, okay? Um, getting all these no's and stuff like that, like when it comes to jobs or when it comes to career, it, it, it spirit, it's like, I had to give you these no's because you were applying for the things that were in alignment with you. You were applying for the job that you, that, that you felt as if you needed and not the job that you were going to be happy at. So until you apply for a job that was actually in alignment with you, I kept sending you no's. And now that you start applying for, now you start to see your worth and value or if, if now I could start sending you out on these interviews and stuff like that and now you're going to get the job or something like that that you've been wanting for you guys going to get some good news back or something like that with this hangman here in the reverse i also feel like if there was some type of hold up on your business and your finances were kind of were kind of running out um i just feel like consistency is key is what's being said right here consistency is key and you're needing to surrender to the process because it's like you you didn't fully when you started the business you didn't fully believe you didn't fully believe in the business you just was like well i'm gonna start it you get what i'm saying or this is what i want and and it's like if you if you did believe in it somewhere along the way it's like you kind of got discouraged because things weren't going your way and the more you felt discouraged the more you stopped you stopped the energy of abundance from entering into the business okay and that's why the hangman is here as well okay what else do we have here we have the eight of wands the Eight of Wands is also in reverse. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Lord, and this is this is what I was just breaking down to you. Whatever path you're on, wherever your journey is, with this page of with this page of pentacles, it was just a delay. It was a delay, it was a hold up until you can shift and change your perspective. Until you can learn how to fully surrender. It's, your need to control, surrender to your obsessive thinking, thoughts, behaviors, patterns, or what so have you. Um, it's also what I'm getting here. Me some more. Damn. We got temperance in reverse. The high priest is in reverse. I guess this is basically everything, literally everything that I just said. This whole eight of wands, there you went through a period of really no communication, not hearing back, not getting what you needed from the situation. And this is because you wanted something so bad, but it was not good for you. That's why temperance is here in reverse with the high priestess. This was not in alignment with you. You weren't, you weren't, you weren't really listening to your intuition. You were trying to do what you felt was right, but you and spirit have to be on the same page for your next phase, your next process or something like that here at the bottom of the deck. 
but this is this period is over that's why the death card is here that's why the hangman is in now in the reverse because if the hangman was in the upright with the eight of wands in reverse the page of pentacles in reverse the temper with their in reverse the high priest in reverse this is like a big no okay but right now to see the hangman in reverse this is you finally surrendering to everything that you've been through on your path and this is why the change of perspective and you battling your self-esteem in and finding the confidence and finding the courage to continue on and to push through okay um the death card here with the page of swords with the world the page of swords is in reverse with the world and this is basically saying like all those moments all those times to where you felt like um you had creative blockages and stuff like that the world is here that's it's that's the cycle is already done it's complete and now you can take off again with this knight of swords now you'll be able to take off okay whoo queen of swords is there i just split the deck let's go into this hangman why is the hangman here the eight of pentacles and that's you putting in the work okay that's you putting the work and staying focused the eight of pentacles there the eight of pentacles the ten of swords the four of swords and the ten of cups for some of you guys you guys really lost out on um you guys really missed out on times and periods or stuff like that to where you could have been happy for other of you guys you guys are leaving a, a relationship that had a lot of that that had a lot of lies in it like there was a lot of um there there was a lot of the, the the foundation was a facade okay whatever the foundation was however the foundation was built it was a facade and that even came to an end the relationship that you were in the family situation the dynamic however it was it was it came to an end okay the king of pentacles is here with the ace of cups this person whoever you were in a relationship with for some of you guys this person this person couldn't provide the emotional security that you needed. This person made you question yourself. It made you betray yourself. It made you look as if like, am I, it made you question yourself. Like, am I beautiful enough? Is it me? Blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. And this is why spirit has to take that situation because this person that you were connected to, you could have been connected to this person because y'all had kids or you guys were in a long-term commitment or something like that. The Ten of Swords to the Ten of Cups. But what you're realizing is that the happiness was a lie. And that's why I said it was built on, the foundation was built on a facade. The happiness was a lie. And you're starting to realize like this situation is causing more harm than it is good. Okay. For other of you guys, this, when it comes to work, career, finances, or just when it comes to emotional fulfillment, you guys also went through a period or time to where you betrayed yourself. You lied to yourself. You convinced yourself. You believed in other people's potential, potentials. You had placed certain expectations on certain things, situations, and so on and so forth. And it just didn't go out how it was planned. And this puts you in a very sour state. It puts you in a sour state to where you didn't feel like this, anything that you would do would ever be good enough for anything or anyone. And now this is you finding shifting and changing your perspective which is great i love that for you guys why is the eight of, eight of wands here the five of the five of swords because i almost said why is the eight of swords here so this lets me know that when you guys weren't receiving some type of communication or when you guys felt stopped and blocked you guys felt highly defeated you guys felt like you couldn't move on you didn't want to move on or you you were you were it was like i don't want to say crying over spilled milk it's so cliche but you guys were really holding on and harboring on to the past and having a hard time with moving on from the past you guys did not see that whatever however something unfolded or however something was happening was working out for the betterment of you and spirit was about to give you a new project a new relationship a, a new something because to see the five of swords here this is like having being at odds okay and this could be also you being in a situation to where you were being emotionally manipulated and sometimes you even emotionally manipulated yourself you started to, to convince yourself you started to tell yourself like this is what i deserve or or it's my fault because i keep going back or it's stuff it's stuff like that like you guys started to tell yourself and this is what caused some type of delay and this is what stopped and blocked the the new beginning from coming in give me one more for this eight of wands why is the eight of wands here in reverse the seven of cups you are very confused on your path the hangman in reverse the hangman in reverse you are very confused on your past the the, the the fact that the hangman in reverse came out again with the, with the chariot this is you again moving forward this is you taking back control finding your willpower this is you saying you know what enough is enough and you saying enough is enough so stern and and it's it's so it's so so clear it's like enough and it's like silence <laughs> 
So, to see this page of pentacles, why is this page of pentacles here? The emperor reversed. You guys feel powerless. You guys, like I said, for some of you guys, you guys really, 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 really lost control of everything. And this could have been in relationships or this could have been a relationship with yourself. You start to question you. I keep saying that. You start to question you and your relationship. For others of you guys, this is definitely a relationship. This person was lying to you. They were stepping outside of the relationship. They was in third parties telling you they wanted to be with you, but really was in and out doing whatever they wanted to do, keeping their options open. This is that and the third. But all meanwhile, keeping you, string you along, this is that and the third, okay? The Knight of Swords is here because you're about, you're taking back your power. You're taking back control of your life, okay? I also feel like a lot of you guys are calling bullshit now. It's like when you're in a situation, you're no longer holding your tongue back. Now you're speaking truth. Now you're being direct. Now you're being straightforward. Now you're, now you're like, you know what? No, fuck that. Because this is this, this will happen, blah, blah. And I'm tired. I'm done. And I'm not doing this anymore. And the person that you're dealing with or someone that you're dealing with is looking at you like, yeah, right. But deep down inside, you're like, no, yeah, right. This is right. Okay. Um, temperance. The lovers in reverse temperance in reverse with the lovers in reverse for some of you guys you guys really 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 need to pay attention to you guys relationships because this lover in reverse could have been you guys being in a third party situation with you being the other woman as the queen of swords and now and now you're putting this behind you with the lovers in reverse with the queen of swords you're now putting this behind you and you're like you know what I'm no longer going to keep giving myself to a person who is stepping outside of their relationship, trying to tell me they're going to give me the world or making me feel like I'm just, I'm just the queen of the, I'm the empress or I'm the queen of the castle. And then this person, he, he cuts me off. Uh, he cuts me off. He, he, he like, it's like this feeling of like, he cuts me off. He he makes me feel like it's like he gives you the world and then he takes everything at the same time. So it's like then it lets you it leaves you feeling like, well, what was the point of this? And you're now you're in this energy of saying no more because you're tired. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of going against the odds. OK, um, tell me why the high priestess is here. And this is secrets being exposed with the high priestess for some of you guys. For some of you guys, there were a lot of secrets being exposed, okay? And for others of you guys, you guys are rebuilding the connection that you have your intuition. Why is the high priestess here? The seven of wands. The king of swords. I love this. The two of pentacles. Now, it's like I said, with this high priestess in reverse, now you guys are feeling like I'm in defense mode, like, because I wasn't listening to my intuition because I knew I should have knew better. And that's what you guys are telling yourself. Like, I should have knew better. I should have did better. I should have chose better, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. And that's why spirit is like, no, 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 no. I had to send you through this so you can learn how to speak up for yourself. So you can see the true colors of this person. That is the only reason why you went down this path. Because if you didn't go down this path, this person would have been selling you a dream. And then at the end of the day, you would have been looking for more from this person. And they would have still been pooting and giggling and, and, and playing with your heart, pulling on your heartstrings. And that's why the Four of Swords was there. The Four of Swords was there because... Because this person was pulling on your heartstrings, but you know you needed to withdraw from the situation. So that leaves you back at the high priestess in reverse. Seven of seven of wands, the king of swords. And this is you like, no, I'm I don't care. I I, I you're you're in this energy of where I have to guard and protect my heart. And that's why the king of swords is here. I'm looking at the future. I'm trying to be, I'm I'm living more in my truth, and I'm going to find the balance eventually. It's going to take some time. I'm going to find the balance, but I just know that I, I can no longer allow people to come in and misuse me in any way. Okay. And I love that for you guys, to be honest. Um, let's see, let's see, let's go, let's go into this hangman. Let's go into this hangman energy. Why is this hangman energy here? It says real talk communication will bring more clarity cut off boundaries have been enforced that's what i'm saying you you had to cut ties or cut off a situation you had to learn how to surrender to a certain situation and accept it for what it was okay rude awakening things fall apart to to make way for a sturdier foundation it's it, it is what it is you guys you guys you guys were in for a rude awakening but guess what you guys are on the ball now you are definitely on the ball now. You're starting to see something for what it is. Okay. Um, why is the emperor here? 
insecure, struggling, limiting thoughts and feelings. And this is you, like I said, you guys felt you felt powerless. Um, for for a lot of you guys, the person that you were with was a direct mirror. Okay, and that's why the mirror is there. They were reflecting you. They were they were showing you all the areas in which you felt insecure and what in ways you felt like you didn't have things together or you were afraid to make certain moves, you were afraid to take action, and so on and so forth. This was this was to get you to see this was to get you to see something. Okay, soul connection. This connection is between souls that recognize each other from a past life. You get what I'm saying? This person that you were connected to, for some of you guys, it's you, but for others of you guys, it's a person that you were connected to and um, they were to reveal your own insecurities. So a lot of the things that you're pointing the finger at them, you need to actually look at yourself and say, what part of me is reflecting this energy? Okay. Struggling with limited thoughts and feelings. And I feel like for some of you guys, you guys went, are going through a period stage or a cycle to where you're, 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 you're doubting yourself. And this is a time where you need to stand firm in yourself. Like every doubt transmute that energy into a positive thought. Okay. Give me one more for the emperor. And then we have too much drama. There is chaotic energy at play. For others of you guys that were in the situation with this person, this person was drama filled. They were putting on a fucking show and they were using you and your insecurities and monopolizing off of that. Okay. So look, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Ne not ready to part ways. And that's what they would tell you when we try to walk away. Like, no, don't leave. Blah, blah. No, you're out of here. Okay. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Intense connection. This is a deep connection that triggers may arise. It says, I miss you. No communication, no contact. And like I said, see, this is this person even, even in the reading trying to come through. But this is what I said. You guys are realizing that even though this connection was what it was, even though I'm going to miss this person, I have to close this person off. It's not you. Is what spirit wants you to know. It's not you. It's me. There is some any work that needs to be done. Like I said, for some of you guys, you guys are in this energy where you blamed yourself, but you're now standing into your in your masculine energy now. Like you now you're in protection mode. Now you're like I have to guard my feelings, I have to guard my heart, and blah 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 X Y and Z. Being feeling more confident in who you are, King of King of Swords. What the fuck? Ground yourself. Ground yourself to understand chaos. And then we have cry me a river. Vice, be mindful of the negative and toxic behavior. Shadow work may be necessary. Okay? So because you are in this very protective energy, make sure that you are doing things out of a place of love. You're not doing anything, doing anything to be spiteful. Okay? Can I get a couple of spirit messages? We're gonna wrap this up. Can I get a spirit message, please, for our Pisces current energy? Pisces. So we have inspiration. Spirit message is your love, light, and wisdom touch the heart and minds of many. You will be instrumental in helping another person change the course of their life. Miracles, inspirations, healing, result. It says you will be instrumental in helping another change the course of their life. Now listen, because when you walk out of this person's life or when you walk out of anybody's life, you leave your mark. That's how powerful you are. You leave an everlasting impression on people. And that is something that you need to see within yourself. Okay? Um, that's all I want from this deck, actually. Can I get a self-love oracle? And I'm going to send you guys on your way. And a self-love oracle for our Pisces. Oh, sorry, this just came out in the other day. I don't know if I shuffled or not. I'm sorry, you guys. Self-love oracle. Or Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, it says find balance. It says even moderation requires moderation. Swinging from one extreme to another can put one out of balance. Restore your peace from within. Okay. Moderation, even re even moderation requires moderation. So take your time. Be patient with yourself. Be compassionate with yourself. As you are going through this situation, you are going through changes in your environment or spirits encourage you to change your environment. It says our environment support or undermine us. Give more attention to where you live, work, rest and play. Create surroundings that support you. And again, create surroundings that support you. OK, Pisces, find a balance, create surroundings that support you. And look, you're dealing with the asshole. So beware. Talk to you guys later. Bye, loves.